Hello, I'm Nancy Wilson, pastor of New Beginnings Community Outreach Church in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm here today to share just a word with you that hopefully will help you in a situation. Perhaps you're not going through it now, but if you continue living, you will go through it. Offenses, the Bible says, will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. And that's found in St. Luke chapter 17, verse 1. You know, there are many times in life when we do our best toward people, but they don't always have the best for us in their hearts and their minds. But forgive. It may be a family member, a church member. It may be a boss. It may be a coworker, a neighbor. It doesn't matter who it is. We must forgive. You know, unforgiveness is sin, the Bible says. And so we don't want to sin in any area of our lives. Now, we will sin, but we cannot practice sin. And when we find out that sin is in our lives, we must forgive. When those personal attacks come, just look to the hills from whence comes your help. For all of our helps, the Bible says, comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And also remember, if we do not forgive, neither can we be forgiven. So it's not worth holding on to a grudge. Now, you know what? It's not always a neighbor or a church member. Sometimes it's right in your own home. You have to learn to forgive your husband, your wife, your children, your parents. It doesn't matter. Forgive. Let it go. It binds us. Our prayers are hindered when we don't forgive. So you don't want your prayers hindered. You're going to need uh, God's help in every situation. So I offer this little word to you today, but yet it's a great word because God wants us to forgive. You know, perhaps even as I'm speaking, somebody is reminiscing. You're going back right now in your mind of something that you may need to do to make things right. Although the person offended you, but you haven't made it right. Sometimes we can't just take it as so personal that it's all about me. It really isn't. It's all about God. How would he have us respond? How would he have us treat that person or those persons who offended us? You know, life is too short and we don't know when it's going to end. We don't want it to end in bitterness. We don't want it to end with all kinds of situations going on that we have not settled. Settle the matter in your spirit. Settle it in your heart. You can't change anyone but yourself. And I want you to do that today. As we are talking about forgiveness and, and letting things go and personal attacks, uh, we also may need to introspectively look at ourselves and have we offended anyone? We're not always the offended. Maybe we are the offender. So we've got to make sure if we spoke harshly, if we spoke rashly, if we spoke too quickly, let's, let's pray about that thing. Make it a matter of prayer, but then do something about it. Call them. They may not want to speak with you if you've offended them, but if you say your prayers, knowing that God's ears are open to the cry of the righteous, and that his eyes are upon his people, he's going to hear your prayer and he will make a way for things to be straightened out. Relationships in life are so important. We don't want to ruin any kind of relationship. So I want to say to you today, begin to go back in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, and just have a talk with Jesus and ask him, Lord, is there anything that I need to do to make things right? with my family, with my neighbors, with my coworkers, with my boss. Help me to do it. I want you to know that God loves you. Even when we mess up, and we all do, He loves us. And He's a loving, forgiving God. He's here to help you through any and every situation. Please don't let this day pass without making sure that everything is well. In Jesus' name, be blessed today.